Hello everyone, welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to share some interesting information about plastic solar cell technology. So come, let's go into the video. Plastic solar cell is also known as organic solar cell. It's a type of photovoltaic energy that uses organic electronics. Solar cell is a key device that converts the sunlight energy into the electrical energy by the photovoltaic energy conversion. The solar electricity does not come cheap because solar panels are rather expensive. But we could reduce costs by printing solar panels like we print newspaper and books. We can do that just with plastic solar cells. We can also use a special kind of printers to print objects made out of plastics. The plastic material uses nanotechnology and contains the first generation solar cells that can harness the sun's invisible infrared rays. Plastics are made of polymers which has a long molecules. To print plastic, they simply replace the ink, a combination of liquid and solid materials that can be printed or coated onto a surface. During printing or coating, the liquid evaporates and the solids remains on the surface. After printing it, the liquid dries and the two polymers form a thin film. Plastic solar cells can also be printed on large rolls of flexible foil. How do plastic solar cells change light into electricity? Plastic solar cells consist of a plastic layer on glass or a flexible foil. In lab, they use glass plates with a transparent electric contact with the positive pole. On top of this contact, they put the most important layer of ink in plastic solar cells. This layer is where sunlight is converted into charge. This ink contains two polymers, a long green one and a short red one. The polymers form a mixed layer, on top of that layer they put a metal layer which functions as the negative pole. They turn the whole stack of layers upside down so that the sunlight can shine through the glass into the active layer. Now basically there are three types of solar cells that you can find in the market. Amorphous, monocrystalline and polycrystalline solar panels. Polycrystalline cells are typically found in enriched panels. They are less efficient than monocrystalline solar cells and require a large surface area for the same output. Monocrystalline cells are also found in enriched panels. They are more efficient than polycrystalline cells and can be smaller in size for the same output. Amorphous cells offer higher efficiency than the other two. They are the most efficient cell in the market today, although they do require twice as much surface area for the same power output as a monocrystalline blanket or panel. However, they are more flexible and can handle higher temperatures better. Now you may think, does solar panels work by night or at rainy and cloudy days? By night time, your appliances could work through the energy stored in the batteries that was generated by the solar panels during the daytime. In rainy days too, the solar panels work when the light is reflected or partially blocked by the clouds. Rain actually helps to keep the panels operating efficiently by washing away any dust or dirt on it. 
On cloudy days too, the solar panels work, but they just don't work as efficiently as they do on sunny day. Solar cells are used in a wide variety of applications like toys, watches, calculators, electric gadgets, remote lighting systems, cars, aircrafts, ships, portable power supplies, water pumping, water treatment, and space satellites. By seeing this picture as a chair, it provides shade, but after adding a solar panel to it, you can charge your phone with it. The chair also rotates during the day, so it always faces the sun and has a reserve power battery for the night or cloudy days. Therefore, the sun is a powerful source that can help our planet by giving us clean, reusable energy to power our world. The use of this energy is free which does not create any pollution and if used wisely, it can help us become less dependent on other more costly and damaging forms of power. Think about how useful this is. We just use free sunlight and two cheap plastics to make electrical energy. So let's create a bright future with green and clean energy. If this information was useful to you, please do like the video and thank you so much for watching.